Sterling Hospital is in the business of quality healthcare delivery. We are a regional chain of corporate hospital and we started off with two hospitals and over time we have operationalized two more hospitals, close to 725 beds under operation. We are also in process of building a couple of other hospitals and the aim is by the end of 2011 we'll have more than 1000 beds under management. And if you look at healthcare spending in India, it's close to $25 billion. And it's about 5.5% of the Indian GDP. The expectation is this healthcare spending will become about 8% of the Indian GDP by 2012. So the industry has been growing at almost 14%. And that is why you see so much investment flowing in tertiary care hospitals in India in private sector. We have got 190 beds in these hospitals, having all kind of speciality with super specialities. Our main focus is on the neurotrauma surgery as well as in the high end of the orthopedic joint replacement surgery. Telling is becoming a number one in this region. There are three basic factors that a hospital need to be successful. It needs to have the best in class infrastructure, the best physicians, best of the healthcare staff and we believe that we are best in all these three parameters. They can see from last three years, we have a very fast progress. We have now an ABH accreditation board for hospitals. So by all means, this best environment, that's the reason why I'm with Sterling. When I joined the organization, we lacked the management bandwidth and that is where Actus played a very, very important role in helping us improve operationally. We chalked out a very clearly thought out strategy of geographical diversification in Gujarat to de-risk the business. What it will ensure is that our patient base will widen. We'll also be able to start a hub and spoke model so the patient from Rajkot can be referred to Ahmedabad. And we'll be able to leverage our cost very, very effectively as we go forward. This Greenfield project for Sterling caters to about 2.5 to 3 million population size. The average length of stay has been really short in terms of the way the treatment process has been organized. And for an average length of stay, we've been able to do it between three to four days here, where the average length of stay would have been longer. This was actually a 60-year-old diabetic fellow. He came with rest angina. We did his angiography yesterday that showed a 95% block. We have done his angioplasty. It was a relatively easy job to do. The person is fine. We got a very good result. The hospital at Mundra is under an ONM agreement with Adani Corporation. What it means is that Adani Corporation has built that hospital and then given it to us. We put in our equipment as well as uh, human resources and we're going to split the profit. Sterling has a very impressive background and that's how we actually chose Sterling. So the employees of the Adani group, they will get the best in class advanced medical care over here. The nurses were very caring and the doctors were also attending immediately. So we are going to be discharged today. If I look at the current year's financial performance, our lead hospital at Ahmedabad, we are seeing margins are higher than the industry norms. And we intend to ramp up the margins in the other hospitals. And if you look at the number of patients who are visiting the hospital as growing month after month, which is a very, very encouraging sign for all of us. Mm -hmm.